Have you wondered how to create 3D rotations in Photoshop? Well, you have. There's no feature for that. For some weird reason, Photoshop has no 3D transform. But if you've got the full creative crowd, you can, of course, use another application. Really useful, one of the most powerful ones, After Effects, and it really works well with Photoshop. So how can we do this? First thing to do, just go here. I've just got this file, image3, image1.psd even. If I go over here, file, and then save as, and I can save it, or use a PSD, click save, and replace. Okay, it's saved now. Now go to After Effects. So once you're into After Effects, what can you do? Just go over here, new composition from footage. Just click here, and this will bring up this. Just select it, the file you've just saved, click open, and now you see this. You think, great, what do I do now? Because there's a lot of commands, lots of options. This is packed solid with this. Well, what you can do, very straightforward, right click and just go down to 3D layer. Just select that. Now you get this. Now, then what you need to do is just go here and you can see you've got Y. Just hover over and you can go over there and you can then just drag this up. Just work with this. Just try a different thing. I admit it, it's fiddly. <laughs> it's one of those things. You will get it really easy once you master it. Just takes a little bit of practice. And you can see the Y, you can see a little rotation there. You can just if I hover over there. If you hover over these things, you can see Z, you can rotate it that way. And also you've got the Y, X, Y there. You can drag this out there. There's a lot of features for rotation and again, rotate there. So you can again, just rotate it around. A bit of practice, you can just quickly rotate that in a 3D space. And again, up here, go to X, and you can rotate that, and so on. You can actually squeeze it and shear it in all kinds of different ways using this approach. So once you've got that, and I'm just going to go with this, otherwise I could keep rotating it for ages. You need to export it. That's the next thing. All you need to do is just go to Composition, and then down here to Save Frame as Photoshop Layers. I'm going to go with that. You could go with File, I guess. But Photoshop layers, select that. And I'm going to go for a file, image 3.psd again, just saving to PSD and saving to my desktop. It saved it. Now I can go back to Photoshop. Obviously, it doesn't open it up, it's not that inclined to do. What you need to do is go to File and Open. And now you can see there it is. I obviously created one earlier as well, but there's the one, image 3.psd. And you can see you've got that. Now the file size, sorry, the dimensions I should say, are the same. So if I go to this one and that one, they're identical. All it's done is rotated it. And you can see now you've got this rotation. Very quickly, using a combination of Photoshop and After Effects. Now it's a pity that Photoshop doesn't have a rotation feature. Should have, but fortunately doesn't. Any thoughts? Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Do you think that a Photoshop 3D feature would be a really useful feature? But then there's so many other things I think that should be in Photoshop. And unfortunately, they never seem to. Maybe an AI 3D rotate feature is always possible. Bye.